and just here is the final resting place of Philomena's son Michael. Hi guys, so today we're in Ross Grey and um, I just want to bring you to a few graves and there's one that um, I want to show you as well and I'll just tell you a little bit of the story um, about this man and his mother. There's actually a film um, called Philomena made about this particular story and um, Judy Dench actually was the actress that played Philomena. So when Philomena was just 18 she became pregnant. She was sent to Sean Ross Abbey in Ross Grey, a place for unwed mothers after giving birth to her son. Philomena worked unpaid at the Abbey, where she was forced to stay until she was 22, at which time the Abbey sold her three-year-old son to be adopted by a Catholic family in the United States. This was done without Philomena's consent and against her wishes. At the time in Ireland, such treatment of unwed mothers was common practice. After forcing Philomena to sign the adoption papers, the nuns in, um, involved refused to disclose any details regarding her son's fate, except that he was taken to the US. After she left the Abbey, Philomena moved to England and studied to become a nurse. Around Christmas in 2003, Philomena revealed to her family that she had given birth to a son when she was 19 and that she did not know his whereabouts. For decades, she had secretly been trying to find out what had happened to her son without success. Her daughter Jane decided to approach a journalist, Martin Six Smith, at a New Year's Eve party a few weeks later. She explained Philomena's story and asked Six Smith whether he would be interested in helping them find what had happened to the child. Six Smith agreed to take on the story and he and Philomena spent years researching until they discovered her son had been adopted by an American couple who named the child Michael Hess. Now the family had also adopted a little girl named Mary from the Abbey and Mary and Michael had grew up together as siblings. Six Smith and Philomena eventually came to learn that Michael had died of AIDS in 1995 and that for years he had tried without success to find his birth mother. Before his death, he arranged to be buried at the Sean Ross Abbey in the hope that his mother might someday find his grave, which she eventually did. After being adopted, the family changed his name from Anthony to Michael. He was raised in the Catholic family and graduated from Notre Dame and the George Washington Law School. After getting out of law school, Michael went to work in the late 70s at the National Institute of Municipal Law Officers. In 1981, when Reagan was in his first term, Michael joined the Republican National Committee as staff lawyer, later moving up to Deputy Chief Counsel and then to Chief Counsel. Though Michael's attempts to find his birth mother were unsuccessful, he made three trips back to the convent where he was told by the nuns that there were no records about his birth mother, Philomena, and that they had no idea how to find her. Philomena was told similar, that there were no record of her son's whereabouts. Now, whilst looking for her son, Philomena got to talk and meet uh, with Michael's partner, who told Philomena about her son's attempts to find her. Well, actually, um, his partner had said to us that I had abandoned him in two weeks instead of, I'd looked after him for three and a half years and he still went back looking for me and then, of course, when he developed the AIDS, he went back again and they still said they didn't know where I was, if I was too. Did they know where you were? 
Well, I've been telling them over the years, right? Every address I had in England, I wrote to them and never got any answer, of course. Susan? Yeah, even if the nuns hadn't known where Philomena was and she had kept them abreast of all of her changes of address, the Department of Foreign Affairs knew where he was because there was a cache of files. So I suppose it turns out that her son was searching for his birth mother and she was searching for her son. And unfortunately, her son became ill with AIDS and he returned back to the same place where he had been adopted out of. And um, he hoped that, I suppose if he was buried here, that his mum might retrace him back to this area and eventually find his grave. And as I said, she did. Now, it is an extremely sad story. As I said, there's a film and a book, actually, um, about this whole story. And um, it's just extremely sad that she never got to meet him before he passed away. And I'm actually going to take you to his grave here now. So this little graveyard here are for the sisters. So all those little headstones are nuns, all just buried in here. And then just behind that wall there is the Abbey. And what's left of the Abbey? Sean Ross Abbey. And if we just up the steps here and just here is the final resting place of Philomena's son Michael Michael A. Hess a man of two nations and many talents born July the 5th 1952 Sean Ross Abbey Ross Cray died August 15th 1995 in Washington DC USA Rest in peace, Michael. So another sad story, um, another one of Ireland's past, the mother and baby homes for mothers who are unwed and who have had children out of marriage. Thank God times have changed. There's also a story of babies and children's bodies being found in this location as well, much like the tomb baby scandal. The burials here were a little more dignified in the sense that they were in coffins and kind of strategically placed, but they had to do excavations as well. And I'm not actually sure of the exact number of bodies that were found but anyway guys from beautiful Ross Cray on this beautiful summer's day um, sun is out it's gorgeous take care God bless and I'll talk to you soon <laughs>